Now, this is the headliner for the budget build truck. All right. So I figure we got the stuff out. We got to get the rest of the stuff out. We might as well do them both at the same time. Or maybe not at the same time, but you know what I mean. This one, the foam's a little thicker. And the OBS Chevy, it's a fiberglass form, I guess is the best way to put it. It's soft. It's not like a hard fiberglass. This one, I kid you not, cardi board. Okay, so you got to be extra careful with the older ones. That's uh, 86, 85, something like that. The foam was in better shape, but it was still deteriorating, and that's why it sagged. So you got to get the foam off, otherwise the glue's not going to take. We had a little bit of damage on the corners. We just taped it. Hopefully that's going to work. I figure with it being in the corners, it's right where the trim's going to be, too. I mean, the trim's going to hold down this area. And same with over here, plus the trim's going to, I mean, the sun visors are going to hold this down over here. So what we decided to go with is this perforated brown. And this is one of the A-pillars. Now this is going to be repainted, it's faded. So I've got the, uh, I've got the trim die from LMC. So... It's, got, it's not going to be this color when it's done, but it's going to be close, you know. And then on the door panels, we're going to tie in some of this lighter. Plus, we have two different vinyls. I haven't decided which one we're going with yet, but this is going to be the headliner. Now, this panel here is roughly about 56 inches wide. My roll's 58. So... I'm not going to roll it out like this. I'm actually going to roll it out like this and I'll just have, there'll be more waste, but I'm afraid with this contour here and this contour here that it's going to eat up that two inches and I'm not going to have enough to wrap around. So I'd rather have too much than not enough. But we're going to lay this out and pre-cut it. And I'll show you the glue we're using. The gun, Harbor Freight gun. All right, I got this specifically for this glue. Don't use your paint gun. And it's Lockwell heat resistant spray contact. You know, you sound like Bob Barker, right? Yeah. But that's what we're using. You can find it online. I've talked to a couple different upholstery shops and did some research, and they say to use this. So, this is what we're going to use. This was, uh, you can look it up online if I'm not mistaken. It's about $35 a gallon, give or take. So, it's not awful. I don't know what like the 3M Super 77 is going for. I watched a video last night that was about two, three years old and it was about 12 bucks then. So now it's probably <laughs> twice as much. I figure I can get more done with this anyway. All right guys. We've got the material cut and pulled on the outside. Even though we wiped off the tables, it's a little breezy out and uh, there's just a little bit of funk, I guess you call it, on the, uh, on the felt. So I'm just going to take some duct tape and pick up the funk, you know, because you don't, you want this as clean as possible. When you lay it on your on your template to start gluing, and we'll show you that in a minute. But I just wanted to let you know what we were doing, and we're gonna get to it. We're covering the table table with uh, craft paper, so we don't get glue all over. It just be easier to clean up. 
but this would be a good time to like and subscribe to the channel if you could see what I'm going through watching these two try to put paper on a table. You'd like this video just, just out of pure pity. So, do me a favor, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and you can see two, more of these two bozos. Yeah, you hold it still so you throw it back and forth. Got it? Alright, let's see about there. Hold it back again. And actually... Hmm. Okay, never mind. You don't want to do that in the front of the Yeah, I see it, I see it. Just spray up under it, you're fine. Does it sit on your Adam Apple too, Dad? Yeah, a little bit. Okay, that's light bulb. Is that okay, Dad? Yeah, the part would light that. What about that corner over there, Dad? Huh? It's, uh... I'm dying in that thing. Right. 
gun sucks for this. Why? Huh? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if I don't have... If it's uh, not you, enough air pressure or too much air pressure, i got to play with it. It's just not spraying in the pattern that I want it. I want more of a uniform... Could it be because I think it's just move so thick? Well, you know like when you paint a car? You do your test spray, and you almost want like a football shape. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, I'm kind of guessing you want the same thing. It's it's a lot thicker though. It's right. It, it's thicker, so I'm thinking I need more, a little bit more pressure to push it through. That is over. Let's see. Yeah, <laughs> Well, they don't fit right. Get further, get further. Huh? Get further. Get further? Yeah. Go that way. Be careful when you go that way and sit with yourself. Yeah, I see it. Hang on. Um, there you go. Alright. You got to smooth that up a little bit. Watch it, watch it, watch it. There you go. Hopefully this gets easier as you go. Okay, so I hope we got enough for you to do I hope. doing is we're getting rid of the access which honestly we should have cut a lot of this off a lot of this excess off before we even started it should happen but we're going to cut that off and then I'm going to put the panel put a little bit of glue around the outside and fold it over and hopefully that works out good it looks like it's coming out pretty good I've got one or two wrinkles, real small ones. I mean, like, you know, like half inch, quarter inch. Um, two or three of them. 
I could probably still work them out while it's drying. And if not quite honestly, they're in places you're not going to see it anyway because your visors are going to be laying up over here. And then the other wrinkle is right where the uh, dome light goes. So once we get that cut out and put the dome light on there, you're not going to see that either. So luckily the main part that you're going to see looks pretty good. Right? All right guys, there she is, ready to be installed. It came out pretty good. I got a couple little imperfections, I got a little wrinkle here. But I'm pretty sure this tucks down almost to there, so I don't even know if it'll, if it'll show or not. And then for some reason, we don't know why. See that right there? I don't know if I didn't get any glue there or we were laying it and we had a wrinkle and we tried to pull them back on it and it was sticking real bad. Uh, that, that glue is insane as far as the tack's concerned. So I'm, it was right about in that area. It's when we first started the other side. So I'm thinking that's where that was and we either stretched it too much or we pulled up the glue and it's just riding above the glue I don't know I can I, I, I could deal with it you know what I mean I, I'm not I'm not too worried about it compared to what it was I think it looks freaking awesome man so we'll do another video once we install it in the car or the truck that's a little ways off We've got, uh, we still got body work and paint. I just figured if we were going to do that one and have everything out and have the table set up and the material out and everything else, might as well do them both at the same time. So we're going to try the other one, see how that turns out. We put paper on the table so we didn't get glue on the table, just common sense. You know, newspaper, whatever you got laying around. Just what it, whatever your work surface is, just cover it with paper. That way when you're done, you just peel up the paper, throw it out. It's a lot easier. We took this and one of the things that could have caused these wrinkles in the middle is we didn't cut it down. I mean, this was laying over about six, eight inches on each side. And I think maybe that extra, when we were pulling it, actually caused wrinkles, if that makes any sense. It's a piece of, cloth, it's a piece of cardboard covered with cloth, you know what I mean? If it was a fiberglass shell, I think it would show the uh, imperfections a little more. but. It, it honestly it came out really good man. I'm happy with it I think it'll look pretty good in there we'll do another video on that headliner up there so if this was at all helpful please like share subscribe and we will see you soon